we are approaching the end of October and that means Halloween's coming up. Now, years ago, when I was young, which really was years ago, we made Halloween lanterns from big turnips. And then we've, since then, we have used pumpkins. And I was in the supermarket this morning and had these sort of football size pumpkins for sale at uh, quite a price. But uh, I've got a pumpkin here, which I'm going to show you in a minute, which I swapped with one of the local allotment societies for some of our honey. So I'm just going to get it for you. Here it is. I weighed it and it is 22 kilos, which in old money is about uh, somewhere about like 45 pounds. And what we're going to do today is make some pumpkin soup. Well, the first thing we need to do is to get all the flesh from the inside. And that means cutting away like this. And this will be used to make a Halloween lantern. This is it, here it comes. And there is the flesh. You can see how thick it is on here. The first job to do is in a pan, melt some butter and add in one kilo of chopped pumpkin. And whilst you're doing that, you can see the kettle in the background is boiling up some water for stock. Uh, so get that underway. And then add in a couple of chopped carrots, one chopped onion and one chopped, one stick of chopped celery. Give an occasional stir to make sure that it's, uh, it's cooking evenly right the way through. And then you can add three cloves of garlic, nicely crushed. And again, just give that a stir and keep cooking it, keep heating it through until the vegetables have softened. Then you need to add two teaspoonfuls of turmeric that will help with the colouring and mix that up and then the vegetable stock that we made earlier needs to be added and you'll need one and a half litres once it's boiling turn the heat down and let it simmer for half an hour. Everything is now fully cooked through so what we're going to do is just blend this with my blender here. Moment of truth time. Very difficult to hold. <laughs> A hot bowl but that was lovely nice creamy texture to it so uh, since we've got huge quantity of uh, pumpkins I suspect we'll be having lots of pumpkin soup over the next few weeks 